Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Ross. We got one for the beginners today. We're going to talk about records and fields in Microsoft Access and how they're different from rows and columns in Excel. Today's question comes from Zachariah in Sunnyville, California, one of my Platinum members. He says, what's the difference between records and fields in Access compared to rows and columns in Excel? I'm taking a class on databases and my professor tried to explain it, but I'm still confused. He sort of insisted they were the same thing, which doesn't seem right because I thought Access and Excel had different purposes. Could you break it down for me in a simple way? Also, it'd be awesome if you could teach this class so I can actually understand. Well, I don't know about that. First of all, I'm in Florida, you're in California. And I really have no desire to teach in a, in a college. So I, I like doing what I do. And I like teaching at home in my shorts with my dogs. And I can go jump in the pool when I want to. So I'm going to stick to YouTube. But I can definitely explain the difference for you. First of all, your professor is kind of right in that rows in Excel are kind of analogous to records in Access. And columns are analogous to fields. All right, so they, they look the same. There's just more than meets the eye to them behind the scenes, okay? So here's Excel, right? And Excel has columns and rows, right? And rows are kind of like records in your Access database and columns are kind of like fields, right? Phone number, notes, customer name, and so on, okay? And if you look at Access, open up a table, you've got pretty much the same thing, right? You've got rows, and you've got columns, which are basically your records and your fields. Now, the big difference is in Excel, you could do whatever you want, pretty much, unless you've got more advanced features turned on. You can do data validation in here and stuff like that. But I'm just assuming a basic spreadsheet, okay? I can come over here in this date field, right? And I can type in, you know, Joe Smith. And that's just fine. No one says anything. No one complains. If I come over here into access and I try typing that into the customer ID field, it yells at me. First of all, it says it's an auto number, you can't do it. All right, that's fine. Let me go to uh, over here, oh, this date field here. Let me just type in some stuff here. Okay, and oh, nope, see, can't do it. All right, so the primary difference between Excel and access is at its very core, access makes you type in the type of data that it's expecting, okay? In fact, before you get to this point, if you take my class, I don't know what your professor is doing, okay? But if you take my class, the first thing I teach you how to do is to define your table. I've seen some books and some other tutorials where they just take you, take, take you in to create and then table, and then you just start typing in data in a brand new table. I don't like this, right? You just type in over here, okay, you got Joe, right? And that calls it field one, and you got Smith, and in field two. And then you go back later and you can define what these, no, no, I, I don't like doing that. Okay. I don't like doing that. I like to define the table first and you come in here and you set up the different fields and tell access what each field is expecting, right? Customer ID is your auto number. First name is a short text field, right? Notes is a long text field. Family size is number and so on. There's a date time type, right? In Excel, you don't really do that. Someone just sits down, you usually just start typing. You can put all kinds of extra formatting up here. And I mean, there's some things where Excel is, is great for doing stuff like this. Honestly, for me, even for, for small lists, for short things, you know, if I'm planning a vacation and I want to make sure I cover all my bases, you know, flights, uh, car rental, hotel, I'll put it in Excel. I don't take the time to build a database unless I'm planning on using it long term or I'm going to have lots and lots and tons of data. Excel is just fine for stuff like this. And you can also use Word for something like that too, right? All right, Excel is a spreadsheet program. That's, it's great for performing calculations, graphing data, simple data set management, you know, creating budgets, tracking expenses, usually short-term things in my opinion. Access is better suited for managing large data sets, complex relationships between the tables, right? You can't really do that well in Excel, make relationships between tables. Right, you got your contact table over here, you got your customer table over here, and you can make forms to do all the data entry, right? You got customers with their contacts, and you can relate these things together. That's one of the powers of Access versus Excel. So if you want to get textbook for a minute, 
A record is a single complete entry in a table storing information about one item, one thing, right? One entity, such as a customer, a product, or an order. Each record consists of multiple, well, one or more fields. It could be just be one field. It'd be silly to have a one field table, but you can. That holds specific details about that item. In Access, records are stored as rows in a table, but unlike Excel, they follow a predefined structure. A field is a specific category of information within a table, like a column in Excel. Each field holds one type of data, text, number, yes, no, date, that kind of thing. It applies to every record in the table. Fields are defined in advance to ensure consistency and data integrity. Right, you don't want a date showing up in your last name field, for example. Now, if you have not yet already watched my Access Beginner 1 class, go watch this. I don't care if you're already in week four of your, your class in your college. Take some time. This is about four hours long. Go watch this. Watch it over the weekend or whatever. And I have a certain way of teaching that I think is best for beginners. I've been doing this for 30 years. So th this is coming from a developer, a career developer who now teaches versus a lot of professors I know they're 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 brilliant they're great they're smart but he might not have been a career database designer so he might not he might be coming at this from an academic standpoint and not necessarily a developer standpoint okay so watch my class share it with your your friends your your classmates your professor and let me know what they have to say but I hope that helps and I hope you learned something that's your tech help video for today live long and prosper my friends I will see you next time a special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Sammy Shama with Shama Consultancy, a certified Microsoft Access expert who offers personalized one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And Amanda Nicole Consulting, specializing in helping businesses move from complex Excel sheets to an Access database. You'll find links to the Diamond Sponsors in the description down below the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing free four hours go watch it and okay okay a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course so I do now have a quicker Microsoft access for beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes and no I didn't just put the video on fast forward <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well 
Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.